Toxoid Vaccines and DNA Introduction Toxoid Vaccines Some bacteria produce disease in their host by producing exotoxins. Toxoid Vaccines are inactivated exotoxins. The exotoxins are treated with heat or chemicals to inactivate. These vaccines are used when a bacterial toxin is the main cause of illness. The examples are tendinitis, diphtheria, peritisis toxoid, DNA. DNA means deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is the hereditary material in humans and almost all other organisms. Nearly every cell in a person's body has the same DNA. Most of the DNA is located in the cell nucleus but small amount of DNA can be found in mitochondria. DNA is double stranded. It's also called a double helix. Preparations Preparations of toxoids Tendinous toxoid vaccines is manufactured by growing a highly toxogenic strain of cholesterol tendani in a semi-synthetic medium. Bacterial growth of a subsequent lysis releases the toxin into a supernatant and formaldehyde treatment converts the toxin into a toxoid by altering particular amino acids and including minor molecular conformational changes. Ultrafiltration then removes unnecessary proteins left as a residual from the manufacturing process to produce the final product. The, tro- the toxoid is physicochemically similar to the native toxins thus including cross-reacting antibodies but the changes induced by formaldehyde treatment under non-toxinogenic merits of toxoid vaccines. Toxoid vaccines are safe because they cannot cause the disease prevent and there is no possibility of reversion of virulence. The vaccine antigens are not actively multiplying so they cannot spread to unimmunized individuals. They are usually stable and long lasting as they are less susceptible to change in temperature, humidity and light which can result when vaccines are used out of community. Demerits of Toxoid vaccines. Toxoid vaccines are usually needed and adjuvant and require several doses for these reasons. Local reaction at the vaccine site are more common. This may be due to adjuvant type reaction. And later generally starts a redness and 